it's Alicia. Today I am doing a Weight Watcher recipe for beef and broccoli stir fry. Now we are doing the new My WW Weight Watcher plan and we are on the green plan. Um, but I will also include the points for the blue and purple down in the description box below. So this recipe I have made before. It is very, very good and very, very easy really. I love beef and broccoli and this is just kind of a lightened up version of it. Let me get started and I will show you what you're going to need to make this. First off, you're going to need about 12 ounces of fresh broccoli florets. Next, you're going to need about a three quarter pound of a lean sirloin steak. Then you're going to need a quarter cup of low sodium soy sauce, a quarter cup of water. Here I have two tablespoons of cornstarch and there is a quarter teaspoon of salt in that. And then next to it I have an additional half tablespoon of cornstarch. Down here I've got a tablespoon of each of minced garlic and minced ginger. Then back here I have a cup of low sodium fat free chicken broth. Then you're gonna need a little bit of oil. You can use olive, canola, whatever. And then you're gonna need a little crushed red pepper and that is all you need to make this. First thing you're gonna do is get yourself a Ziploc bag and you're gonna take your cornstarch, the two tablespoons and the quarter teaspoon of salt to throw it in there. And then you're gonna take your sirloin and I forgot to say, you're gonna just cut this sirloin into strips like that. You're gonna take your sirloin and you're gonna just dump it into this bag. Seal it up. And then just mix this around in there really well. And that is the easiest way I have found to kind of coat your meat. You can put the cornstarch and salt on the plate and kind of just uh, mix the meat around on that, but this I find is a whole lot easier to just do it this way. Okay, when you got your meat all mixed up with that cornstarch and salt, you're gonna get yourself a large pan, turn the heat on to about medium high, and put your two teaspoons of oil in there and get that all nice and heated up. And a little tip to know if your oil is heated up and ready to go is just to take a drop of water, kind of splash it in there, and you'll see that that is kind of popping up there. So that is ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my beef in there. And now I'm gonna just cook this for about three or four minutes until it's browned and mostly cooked all the way through. And you're gonna be wanting to turn this as it's cooking. I've let this cook just about five minutes. And so now what I'm gonna do is remove it from the pan and put it on a plate and set it aside. I've got all the meat removed. And now I'm gonna take about half of my chicken broth and pour it in here. And I'm gonna just kind of break up some of those little brown bits that were stuck to the bottom of the pan here. Those are great flavor. If you have a non-stick pan, this isn't gonna stick as bad as it did here. Um, I don't, but it'll work out just fine. So I'm just gonna kinda get these all broken up off the bottom of the pan here. And now that I've got that done, I'm gonna take my broccoli and add that in. Now I'm going to cover this and let it kind of cook for about three minutes, four minutes, just until the broccoli is just a little bit still crisp, um, not cooked all the way. And you're gonna wanna kind of stir this occasionally during that three or four minutes. And while that broccoli is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and take my remaining chicken broth. I'm gonna add my water to it my soy sauce, 
and my half tablespoon of cornstarch. And I'm gonna just mix this together really well. Okay, I've let this cook for about three and a half minutes. And about halfway through, I noticed it was getting a little dry in there. So I added another couple tablespoons of water. So now that that broccoli is at kind of a crisp, tender stage, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my ginger and garlic. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of the red pepper. Now I do anywhere to an eighth to a quarter teaspoon of this, um, but if you don't like heat, you don't actually have to add this at all, but we do like a little bit of heat. So now I'm gonna just stir this up and let this cook for about a minute. I've let this cook about a minute. Now I'm gonna add in my chicken broth, uh, soy sauce, water, cornstarch mixture. And at this point, I'm gonna turn my heat down to medium low, and I'm gonna just let this come to a simmer. And then once it comes to a simmer, I'm gonna let it just kind of cook for a minute or so until this liquid starts to thicken up. I've let this simmer for a couple minutes, and so now the sauce has thickened up a little bit, and I'm going to add back in my beef. Just gonna give that a good stir and then this is ready to go. Okay, and here I have it all plated up. Now this makes about four servings at around a cup a piece, and the points for all three colors, green, blue, and purple, on that is three points. So very, very low amount of points for what I think is just an absolutely delicious meal. It's very satisfying, especially if you pair it with something like rice, which we usually do uh, brown rice with this. But just very, very yummy, very full of flavor, and like I said, pretty low in points. So this is kind of one of our go-tos, just because it's so easy, delicious, and low in points. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.